because I started thinking to myself, like, what would be, like, completely preposterous, um, uh, like, a really preposterous way to make psychedelic art, and using Reagan's space seemed like a completely preposterous, like, material to use to make psychedelic art. That was, like, the initial thought. But then, like, a lot of things, like, when I make art, like, realize all these, like, layers that were right under the surface that I wasn't consciously thinking of exactly. Like, I mean, and one was, like, ridiculously obvious, the similarity of my last name and Reagan. And uh, the funny thing about that being so obvious was that I was basically a teenager for the Reagan years. I, like, turned 12 or so um, in 1980. So, like, for the duration of Reagan's presidency, that was my, teen, like, teen years almost to a T. So I, I th you know, to me, like, it's about all that stuff in a more kind of poetic way. Did know. you grow up in a Reagan household? Yeah, I did. My parents were Reagan Democrats, the, the fabled Reagan, Reagan Democrats. I've mentioned that to people in here, and people always go, and I think this is like the difference between New York and Florida in a way, because in New York people are like, Reagan Democrats, I don't believe that such a, such a thing exists. But in Florida, it was really common. Like, everybody's parents was Reagan Democrats. <laughs> they all came from New York and moved down there and then voted for Reagan and were Republicans. Until maybe now. Now there's like Barack Republicans. <laughs> and how, Obama Republicans. And how about, how about the whole, the, I mean, it's sort of funny that the three images you use are Reagan, yourself, and a skull. Yeah. How do they intersect? Um, well, I kind of wanted to try to, like, to make it be like a poetic um, self-portrait, but like in a really loose sense. I, I, that's how I thought of it. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of try to work really intuitively. Um, so, yeah, I, I just kind of combined those three things. Uh, I don't know, the skulls actually, to me, I relate to this childhood experience. I, I saw my stepfather die of a stroke. And to me, like, I don't know, it relates to that. I mean, maybe it sounds kind of corny to say that. <laughs> and how about the repetition in the imagery? Um, I don't fully understand what I want to do. I wanted to do that. I, I, it's like I work really intuitively a lot of the time. I try to take like things that have a charge to me and then um, push them against one another and then um, and then try to make it work somehow. Like that, I would say like that's my like approach to art making in general is to just sort of, yeah, take, I don't know, I, like, I would think of it as like a kid playing with a chemistry set and pouring chemicals to get like, they, like what happens if I pour this into that? But maybe with images a lot of the time. Um, I, mean, I do some abstract drawings as well. I mean, with these, I think the image-based work is totally that. That's it's like an experimental mentality of okay, what if I take this and I take this and I will pour one onto the other? Will I get a reaction? Will it explode? Will it start smoking. Maybe the materials are like a conceptual artist, but the approach is like a poet, I would say.